In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a face to the stick man I made in a previous tutorial. Open the model of the stick man made in a previous tutorial. You can make the model yourself or download it from my website. In the pose menu, clear transform rotation. Select the skin, the outer mesh, and click the modifiers button. Scroll down and in the subdivision surface modifier, set the number of subdivisions to two. I want to apply the subdivision surface modifier to work on a reasonably dense mesh, but before I can apply the modifier, I need to apply all the modifiers in the stack, starting at the top. So I'm going to apply the skin modifier. Now when I apply the armature modifier, it will break the link between the skin and the armature. I'm going to apply the modifier and I'll set the link back up at the end of the tutorial. Finally, I can apply the subdivision surface modifier. And if I go into edit mode, we have a reasonably dense mesh. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan, shift and mouse wheel to pan down. Go into face select mode and select a face in the middle of the head. Press C for C select and use the mouse wheel to adjust the size of the brush. Make quite a small brush. Select faces in the middle of the head. I want four across and five down. Press escape to get out of C select. Delete the selected faces. Go into vertex select mode. Hold down the Alt key and select the ring of vertices around the face. In the select menu, select the inverse and press H to hide all the vertices except for the ring around the face. In the outliner window, hide the armature. Add mesh circle. Set the radius to be 0.15, enter. Set the number of vertices to be 8. Press R to rotate, X for the X axis, 90 and enter. Press G to grab, Z for the Z direction, 2.06, enter. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan down, shift and mouse wheel. Drag to make the properties window narrower and drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. In the view menu, hide the tool shelf. In the view menu, change to the right view. Shift middle mouse button to pan and zoom in with the mouse wheel. What will be the nose is behind the face, so I'm going to move it. Press G to grab, followed by Y for the Y direction, minus 0.48 and enter. I'm going to duplicate the nose to make an eye. Hold down shift and press D and enter. And I'm going to move it up. Press G to grab, Z for the Z direction, 0.28 and enter. And I'm going to move it across, G, X, 0.18 and enter. I'm going to rotate the eye so we don't have a flat face. Press R to rotate, 2 and enter. I'm going to duplicate the eye, hold down shift and press D and enter. And I'm going to move it across, G to grab, X for the X direction, minus 0.36 and enter. Change the view to the top view. Press R to rotate, 14 and enter. Hold down the Alt key to select the other eye. Press R to rotate, minus 14 and enter and change the view back to the front view. Hold down the Alt key to select the nose. Press R to rotate, 22.5 and enter. And in the right view, press R to rotate, minus seven and enter. To add geometry to the nose, press E to extrude, followed by enter. Press S to scale, 0.8 and enter. Press E to extrude and enter. Press S to scale 0.7 and enter. Press E to extrude, enter. S to scale 0.6, enter. E to extrude, enter. S to scale 0.5, enter. E to extrude, enter. 
S to scale 0 and enter and remove doubles. Hold down the Alt key to select the I. Press E to extrude, enter, S to scale 0.35, enter, E to extrude, enter, S to scale 0, enter and remove doubles. Hold down the Alt key to select the other I. Press E to extrude, enter, S to scale 0.35, Enter, E to extrude, enter, S to scale, 0, enter, and remove doubles. Next, I'm going to connect the eyes and nose together. Select a vertex, hold down shift, select second vertex, press F to make edge. Select, shift, select, F. Select, shift, select, F. Select, shift, select, F. Select, shift, select, F. Connect the eyes and nose to the edge of the face. Select, shift, select, F. Select, shift, select, F. Select, shift, select, F. Select, shift, select, F. Press A on the keyboard twice to select all. Press F to make face. Select the top vertex. Now, some of the faces are not quad faces, so I'm going to use the knife tool to fix that. Hover over the top vertex, click. Hover over the vertex at the center of the nose, click. Press space to confirm. Select the knife tool, hover over the bottom vertex, click. Hover over the center of the nose, click. Press space to confirm. Select the vertex at the center of the nose. Enable proportional editing. Press G to grab followed by Y for the Y direction and use the mouse wheel to reduce the area of proportional editing. Press minus 0.2 and enter. To color the eyes, go into face select mode. Press C for C select and select the eyes. Press escape to get out of C select and click the material button. Add a new material slot. Add a new material to the slot. You should give the material a meaningful name. Click the diffuse color and make it full white. And assign the faces to the material. Select a face in the pupil of the eye. Press C for C select and select all the faces in the pupils. Click Escape to get out of C select, add a new material slot, add a new material to the slot and change the diffuse color to black and assign the faces to the new material. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the window. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Hold down the Alt key and press H to unhide the rest of the mesh. Press A twice to select all. In the Mesh menu, Normals Recalculate Outside. Go into Object Mode and change Shading to Smooth. To reconnect the skin to the armature, in the Outliner window, unhide the armature. Hold down the Shift key and select the armature. And hold down Ctrl and P to make the armature the parent of the skin Select Armature Deform with Automatic Weights. And there we have a fairly low polygon count model of a stick man with a face. If you want a smoother model, select the skin and add the Subdivision Surface modifier, but that will increase the polygon count. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.